Hello, fellow problem solvers. So today I'm going to ask you a problem that was on one homework I had a long time ago. And it's a problem, that, it's a question. Namely, is it possible that an irrational number to the power of an irrational number is a rational number? I invite you to think about this problem, try to solve it for the next five minutes at the minimum, ideally 20 minutes, but not more than one hour. So now without further ado, let's begin with the first set of hints. So lovely. what is this asking? Irrational to the power of an irrational. So x is an irrational. Is it possible that x to the power of y is the irrational number? I just think this is so cool to begin with. And let's see, can we prove this is not a rational number? Well, let's assume it's irrational. Let's say we have like two rational numbers, x and y. Now we have x to the power of y is going to be what? Well, it's going to be irrational. Now, what else can we do? Well, let's take, you know, x to the power of y and y. And then what happens? We have x to the power of y, the power of y. And this is going to be x to the power of y squared. Interesting. Now with this in mind, I invite you to pause for the next five to 15 minutes and see if you can push the problem further. Here's the big idea, namely, y squared? Well, this thing right here, like y can be an irrational number such that y squared is irrational number. For example, if y is equal to the square root of two then we have this will be equal to x squared. I mean, then x can also be equal to the square root of 2. And now what do we have? We have, well, the square root of 2 to the power of square root of 2. If it's rational, we are done, right? Rational? Then done. Woohoo! If it's irrational, well, then square root of 2 to the power of square root of 2, if this is our x, and to the power of square root of 2 is going to be equal to the square root of 2, to the power of square root of 2 times square root of 2, square root of 2 squared, which is equal to 2, which is rational. <laughs> and now this solves our problem. It says that it's possible that an irrational number to the power of an irrational number is a rational number. Now note this. We don't know whether this is rational or irrational. We've never proved it. But we prove that if it's rational, we are done. And if it's irrational, we are also done. And this is why I love this problem, because it's not, it's showing something is the case, kind of by construction, but it's not really proving this construction. It's proving one of these two constructions is valid, but we don't know whether this is rational or rational. So it's like, I think it's a very, very cool problem. And as always, Thanks for problem solving.